Now we're going to review Math, Grade 4, Module 5, Lesson 3. Order and Operations with Fractions, Topic A, Decomposition and Fraction Equivalence. We're going to begin by looking at a tape diagram that shows that one whole is made up of four parts, and this tape diagram has three of those parts shaded. So my unit fraction for this one is going to be one-fourth. One-fourth is my unit fraction. And as you can see, I have three of those. So I have three one-fourths. So I could say that three-fourths is equal to one-fourth plus one-fourth plus one-fourth. But I want you to notice something. I have one-fourth three times. So I could think of this as multiplication as well. I could say that three-fourths is equal to three times one-fourth. Let's look at this one. In this one, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten parts shaded. But I also have my whole showing. My whole is made up of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts. So my whole is made up of eight parts, and eight of those parts are shaded, plus two more. So I could see this as ten one-eighth parts. I could see since each one of my unit fractions is one-eighth, I could see that as ten-eighths being equal to ten times one-eighth. Because my addition sentence would show that ten-eighths is equal to one-eighth plus 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 one-eighth. But it's a lot easier to say that with multiplication. That I have one-eighth ten times. Or I have ten times one-eighth. Now using this same idea, let's think about what the multiplication would look like for each of these sections. We already said that ten-eighths was equal to ten times one-eighth, because I have my unit fraction of one-eighth ten times. Well, I can mark off this whole, and I can see that this section is one-eighth eight times. And this section over here is one-eighth two times. So instead of saying ten times one-eighth, I could say that ten-eighths is equal to eight times one-eighth, that makes my whole. Eight times my unit fraction makes my whole. And two times one-eighth. And if you figure those out and you add them together, you would get ten-eighths. So let's think about this one. This one is showing that I have five parts shaded. One, two, three, four, five. But it shows that my whole is made up of three parts. So I have five one-third pieces. So if I were to look at this this way, then I can see that my whole is three times my unit fraction because in this case my unit fraction is one-third. And then my additional stuff that I have left over would be two times one-third. I could see it this way, that five-thirds is equal to five times one-third, or I could break it up and see it this way, that I can make my whole by saying three times one-third, and then I can add in the additional parts. OK, 
Okay, that's going to take care of things for Lesson 3, where we've been working to decompose non-unit fractions and represent them as a whole number times a unit fraction using tape diagrams.